Why is the optic nerve so important? Um, it connects the eye to the brain. So things that you see are transmitted back to the brain where they're interpreted. And each eye interprets it the same way. And in order to have depth perception and clear vision, you need two good eyes, two good optic nerves, and one good brain. Optic neuritis. Anytime you see ITIS at the end of um, a structure, it usually means inflamed or infectious, like appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix. Optic neuritis is an inflammation of the optic nerve. The symptoms um, usually consist of a change in vision, usually the central part of vision. Sometimes the eye hurts when you move it. The color vision is not quite as bright in the eye as it is in the good eye. Um, and sometimes, even after the healing process is complete, being in a hot environment or a warm environment will bring back the loss of vision until you cool off. It can be caused by diseases that inflame the optic nerve, like MS. That's called demyelination because the covering of the nerve is made out of myelin. So optic neuritis can be caused by MS, can be caused by uh, things such as a bee sting or, or infectious diseases like syphilis or especially in young people by a cat scratch. Um, there are hereditary forms of optic neuritis that affect usually one eye and then the other. A lot of times optic neuritis may occur in the wake of a childhood illness like chickenpox or mumps or measles. Um, some drugs can cause optic neuritis, so it's a, it's, it's a finding that we have to explore what other causes or possibilities besides MS. Yes, that's one of the hallmark features of optic neuritis is it causes a change in vision, which can range from minimal to severe. Minimal, a person may come in and just say they don't see bright colors as well with the good eye, with the, with the affected eye than they do with the bad eye. And at the end of that range, somebody can be totally blind in the affected eye. So it does affect vision, it does affect color vision, but to varying degrees. Color vision is the most sensitive of parameters, so color vision almost always is affected. Why does optic neuritis attack one eye? It depends upon the cause of optic neuritis. Some of the conditions that cause optic neuritis affect both eyes simultaneously. Sometimes it affects one eye and then the other eye in a sequential manner. Uh, there's no telling why optic neuritis affects one eye. It, it's oftentimes a clue whether it affects one eye independently or whether it affects both eyes together. Can you do anything to make it better? Does it ever go away? Is entirely dependent upon what causes it. For instance, if it's caused by a medication, you withdraw the medication. If it's caused by an infectious disease, you treat it with the appropriate antibiotic or antiviral medication. Uh, if it's caused by MS, then you give people a belt of high dose intravenous uh, steroids. Sometimes the first belt of the steroids will recover vision if it, and, and there's about a 75% chance that it will recover. And if it doesn't recover, usually within the first couple of weeks, you entertain other possibilities besides MS or you also can consider giving another form of steroids called ACTH. Uh, in either case, most people with optic neuritis get better. There's one form of optic neuritis um, called Leber's hereditary optic neuritis. It can present just like the optic neuridities that we've spoken about up till now. And you always want to inquire, especially if it's a male, whether or not their brothers or maternal uncles, their mother's brothers, have any similar symptoms that they have, that they have because it there's a, a, a genetically driven form of optic neuritis that's important to identify.